Mario Arcade Review. Okay, so this is considered the second Mario game because Mario was first featured in Donkey Kong, but he was a carpenter in that. Later he was changed to be a plumber, as this game, Mario Brothers, consisted of pipes in it. It was released in 1983, created by Shigeru Miyamoto, and was featured in the Super Mario Advance series and a bunch of other releases. The platforms Mario Brothers was released on includes Super Nintendo, NES, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, Apple II, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Atari 8-bit, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, ZX Spectrum, Game & Watch, and Nintendo Switch. The game also introduces Mario's brother Luigi to the scene too. An interesting fact from where they got Mario's name was when an Italian-American landlord barged in on Nintendo of America's staff demanding rent. His name was Mario Segale. Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers was released in 1985 in Japan and North America and in Europe and in Australia in 1987 by Nintendo. It was a sequel to Mario Brothers. It's a two-player side-scrolling critically acclaimed game where player one uses Mario and player two can use Luigi on a quest to rescue Princess Toadstool from the badass Bowser. Super Mario Brothers was released on NES, Arcade, Disk System, Game Boy Color, Game & Watch, PC-8801, PlayChoice 10, Super NES, X1, and the Game Boy Advance. IGN called it the greatest game of all time. The game's success has led to a bunch of also successful sequels, a TV series, an anime, and a full-length feature film. It was also noted to have revived the great video game crash market of the 1980s. It was the best-selling game for 30 years until Nintendo Wii Sports took the title in the late 2000s. Super Mario Bros. 2 Super Mario Bros. 2 is of course another Nintendo platform game that was released in October 1988 in North America then in other countries in 1989. Super Mario 2 was originally a prototype for a two-player cooperative action game Doki Doki but was later rebranded and became a commercial success and some say the best game in the series. The objective of the game is to navigate the, place, the player's characters throughout the Dream World subcon and defeat the main antagonist Wart. In this addition to the series you get a choice of four different players Mario, Luigi, Toad and Princess Toadstool but there is no multiplayer in this one. In the tradition of the Mario series they added the ability to run holding the B button in this one also. Super Mario Bros. 2 yielded 10 million copies sold and there was, that was the third highest selling game ever released on the NES system at the time. Super Mario World. Super Mario World was probably the game I played the most out of any game, really, next to Alex the Kid, but this was way better. This side-scrolling platform game was an installment for the Super Nintendo. Um, it was first released in Japan in 1990, North America in 1991, and in Europe in 1992. The story, of course, is similar to the other Mario titles, but this one introduces Yoshi, a dinosaur who became part of the Super Mario craze, who was fought of during the NES era but wasn't created due to hardware limitations. The game was developed by Takashi Tezuka and Shigeru Miyamoto and was hailed as one of the greatest video games of all time, selling 20 million copies copies worldwide, making it the best-selling game on the Super Nintendo. The game had been re-released a bunch of times on the Game Boy Advance in 2002, and of course in the package Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World. This Mario game also inspired a TV show which didn't last long, and a sequel, Yoshi Island, in 1995. Super Mario RPG Super Mario RPG or Legend of the Seven Stars in North America is a role-playing game released on the Super Nintendo in 1996. It was 
ported on the Wii and the Wii U 2016 and was also featured among other Mario titles on the SNES Classic Mini. Mario RPG was inspired by Final Fantasy, stuck with a Mario type storyline and action based gameplay from Mario games. Mario RPG was made by Yoshika Meikawa, Shikaru Fujikawa, Shigeru Miyamoto and Yoko Shimomura. This game was considered a success and had two sequels, Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi. Super Mario RPG is considered a JRPG, which means Japanese role-playing game. These JRPG games have two sections, adventuring and turn-based battle sequences. The gameplay is like a 3D platformer at times, where eventually you get to use five different characters from a Mario games. Mario Kart 64. Mario Kart 64 was released in Japan in 1996 and in Europe and North America in 1997 and is a kart racing video game made for the Nintendo 64. It's a successor to Mario Kart that was released on the Super Nintendo and is the second game in the Mario Kart series. It was also released for the Wii and in 2016 made available for the Wii U. In Mario Kart, you have loads of fun with 3D computer graphics giving you the use of four players to play at once. You can choose from a bunch of different characters from the Mario games. It has 16 race courses and four battle courses. Production for the game started in 1995 and its original title was Super Mario Kart RR, stood for rendered, um, referring to the graphics, I believe. The game was produced by Shigeru Miyamoto. Magi Cooper was one of the original players to choose also, but was later changed to Donkey Kong. Mario 64 Super Mario 64 was released in 1996 and is a single player platform video game that was released on the Nintendo 64 console. It was the first Super Mario game to use three dimensional graphics. Mario 64 is what is the best selling was the best-selling um, game on the Nintendo 64, selling more than 11 million copies. There was a version released on the DS called Super Mario 64 DS in 2004. The game was made by Shigeru Miyamoto, Yoshika Kuizamu, and Takashi Tezuka. One of the beautiful things about Mario 64 is that it's an open-world game and gave as much to the 3D genre as much as Super Mario Bros. gave for 2D side-scrolling platformers. Mario 64 is considered the most revolutionary video game of all time, and yes, the storyline is pretty much the same as previous titles. New Super Mario DS New Super Mario Bros. DS is a 2006 platform video game developed and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo DS. A title of the Super Mario Bros. series, the game was released in North America and Japan in May 2006. New Super Mario Bros. was developed by Shigeyuki Yasuki, Hiroyuki Kimura and Masonono Aramoto. New Super Mario DS has a storyline very similar to previous Mario games if you hadn't already guessed. <laughs> In New Super Mario Bros. there are 8 worlds with a total of 80 levels. Mario must defeat Bowser Jr. and Bowser before finally saving Princess Peach. New Super Mario Bros. was com a commercial success and received positive reception. Praise went towards the game's improvement made to the Mario franchise. Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Brothers Odyssey, or Mario Odyssey, I think it is. It's an awesome game, that's all I've got to say. Go get it. I was just wondering, why are you still here? You need to go buy this game right now. Go, see ya, bye, go get it.
I like that, and like this myself, myself. 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 I like that, and like this myself